so I'm stuck in Newcastle, Australia, looking for flights back to New Zealand. They're all really expensive, and I don't want to go straight back anyway. How boring. Only visiting one country, so I book a flight to Noumea, then another one to Auckland ten days later. Then I go and explore Canberra and the Snowy Mountains, because I'm booking them weeks in advance to get the best deals. Weeks later. The Avenue in Nouvelle Caledonie. I missed the bus into the city because the flight was delayed, but I was offered a ride with a lovely family in a rather small car. Plus one for friendliness. Unfortunately, the only French I knew was the first two units of Duolingo, and it turns out that isn't really enough. But they taught me some new words, like la ville for the city, and I got to practice my pronunciation of merci beaucoup. By the time I settled into my hostel, it was getting pretty late, so I found some dinner and made friends with this lovely chien before saying bon nuit. The next day, I went shopping and snorkeling. The water was much warmer than Australia, and much, much warmer than New Zealand. Unfortunately, I can't show you all the colourful fish, because I don't have a waterproof camera. Anyway, I knew I wanted to make the most of my time in New Caledonia. And by that, I mean I wanted to see more of the island than just New Mere. So I planned out a trip to Teo on the east coast. An interregional bus service connects most of the smaller villages to the capital. But for some unknown reason, the bus I wanted to get to Teo was cancelled. And I made a last minute decision to go to Canala instead. Now, my mobile provider doesn't have a roaming agreement with any carriers in New Caledonia and I didn't want to buy a SIM card for only 10 days, so I was using Wi-Fi and downloading maps. I downloaded a map of Teo, but not Canala, and there was no Wi-Fi at the bus stop. Basically, I caught the bus to Canala completely blind to where I was going, and unable to speak any French. This turned it into quite the adventure. I wanted to go somewhere I could camp, but I didn't know where that was. My plan was to get out at the town centre and look around for a camping ground. But from my perspective on the bus, Canala didn't really seem to have a town centre. We just kept rolling on. By the time I got off, it was almost dark, and I was past the town centre. Somewhere around here. Some local kids asked me what I was doing, and I talked to them with the help of Google Translate. They were willing to let me camp outside their house. However, they told me there was a better place over the hill. Then their older cousin came and offered to drive me there. They took me to Campang de Cascad. I awoke the next morning in a beautiful rainforest beside a swift gurgling river. I walked down the road to orient myself and found a roadside stall selling fresh bread and a shopkeeper who didn't understand me but played his guitar for me when I said I was from New Zealand. I wanted to find a beach, but without a map, I ended up walking this road, back to where I had come from. I got back to my camp just in time to be flooded by the afternoon rainstorm. Back to Noumea, more beaches, swimming and sunsets. Then I rode a bus the length of the island, all the way to Kumak in the north. It was incredibly hot. In fact, Kumak was too hot to do anything much, except blaze around, swim in the mangroves, and take photos of the beautiful scenery, while trying to avoid mosquitoes. And that wraps up my first visit to the EU. I arrived in Auckland the same day the International Airport reopened after being flooded. Au revoir.